I want to talk about uh, Lance Harder announcing his retirement yeah. at the end of the was end of 2023. Pretty far out to like, he's like, I <laughs> you normally give your yeah. two weeks notice. He's given like his, what, two, two years, years notice? Yeah, I like it. This is how I would do it though, too. It's all the, he's, he's a planner. It's the ultimate planning, right? You have the plenty of time to do a big transition. You get that last season. Everybody knows it's your last season. So big wind up into this one. Yeah, it makes sense. And it's easier on a lot. recruiting. To, so just, so uh, basically this year's high school kids and next year's, they know what they're getting themselves into if they go to Arkansas. Because if it's a last moment type thing, then all of a sudden you kind of lose a whole year of good recruits. So makes sense in that mindset. But yeah, man, Lance Harder, man. He, I mean, we'll probably talk about it more as his retirement gets closer because typically that's what you do when the, oh, what a, what a, what a year, what a season. But, um, that triple his, crown. his resume is, is pretty damn impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they did, they, they had not won a, a cross title until, uh, that, that team in 2019 finally got it done. And then they had, they held all three at the same time, but yeah, all the indoor titles and the outdoor titles as well too. And it, I mean, you want to go farther back and look at SEC titles. It's, it gets pretty ridiculous at that point. And obviously Arkansas men have the huge tradition with John McDonald of all the, of all the titles that they've won. And the, the women's side has been extremely successful um, under, under Harder's watch. So great career. Yeah. I mean, great career and six, time to win more titles too. He's got a chance yeah. to win more. Was it six NCAA titles? Um, 42 conference titles, including the, yeah. you know, the triple crown in 2019. And then he's done the triple crown at the SEC level seven times. So pretty yeah, damn yeah. good. Um, you know, I wonder how it's going to change the dynamic of recruiting. I think still some of the best high school women are still going to want to run at Arkansas. It's still going to be a track powerhouse, even with the change of scenery. You know, I don't think mm -hmm. Arkansas was just a Lance, wasn't Lance University, right? It was still Arkansas University. So I think they're still going to be fine in the future. But, you know, it's whenever you have someone of that, not aura, but like that long standing stature, you know, there could be a, a dip in getting back to that level. So they, Arkansas could see like a one to two year you know, middle of the pack type run before they get back to being, you know, top 10 team. Well, I think this on paper, every I think year, this, you know. the reason you announce it this far are out, maybe, I don't know, but maybe it's to avoid that or minimize that. Cause they named yeah. you know, Chris Johnson, who's already there as the, the head coach in waiting. So it just makes it a, a smoother transition. If you know, who's, who's coming in next and you kind of just, ease into it and then you mi minimize the big one year drop off of oh wait that coach is not going to be there anymore i'm not going to go there and then you have just that that hole that you have to fill that sits there until the next recruiting class but then you have to wait till that group almost phases out because if you had that one bad year it's not just one year that it's holding you back because they're they have you know five year window to compete and if you don't have uh your normal recruits it's tough to make up that ground but yeah we'll talk more about this I guess until 2023.